Are you serious? Shoppers, have you gotten an email like this from Instacart saying that the customer didn't get their order? I got one of those on Monday and it was dealing with an order on Saturday. And I'll tell you what, we're gonna get to the bottom of that right now. That was crazy. So the first thing I did is contact Instacart. And you would think it's pretty easy, right? Not so much. Actually, what you have to do is chat with them. And the agent was marginally helpful. He said that I should reply to the email that they sent. And guess what? When I looked at it, it was do not reply. And that wasn't very helpful. After a couple days, I tried to call Instacart support and listen to this. Thank you for calling Instacart Care. This line is for customers who placed a recent order. We don't see a recent order associated with this number. If you're calling about your shopper account, go to the Instacart Shopper app, select the question mark in the top right-hand corner, and tap the headset icon to connect with an agent. That's right. I'm not a customer, and so I had to go back to the chat. This time, the agent was helpful, and he let me know that it was the order that I did at 7.30 p.m. on Saturday night. And you know what? I remember this order very well. It was a $2 tip and Instacart had to raise the base pay all the way from $9 up to $15. And then I took it because I figured, hey, you know what? That's gonna be the last order of the night for me. I can knock this out pretty quick. So let's get into what happened. All right, the order was only six items, so I knew I could do it really quickly. And sure enough, I could. And you can see here the variety of items. None of them really were refrigerated. And then as I was delivering, I also noticed that the customer said, do not knock or ring. As I was pulling up, the GPS was accurate. And so I turned around and parked and I made the delivery pretty smoothly. And you'll see in the screenshot there that I did take a picture. I always communicate with the customer. And I said, thanks, have a great day. And I included a picture of the drop off and you can see there how the brickwork is and those candles in the background. And I did notice that the message was read at 727. And I do that to cover myself anytime that the customer doesn't want me to contact them. I still take pictures with the timestamp camera app and I also send the picture to them so that they can't say I didn't deliver the order. <laughs> well, in this case, they did say that I didn't deliver the order. So I went back. And I looked through all the footage and I was building that case. And I have screenshots, timestamp camera app, and I have video from the Boblov M5. And you can see that playing here in a little while. So I had all my bases covered. To confirm my findings, I went back and I looked on Google Maps. You should check that out. And I did the street view because I do remember the pattern in the concrete. And you can look on Google Maps and see the same type of thing. And then I compared that to my memory, which obviously is very sharp. And yes, that did look familiar. And so then I brought up my dash cam footage and you can see right here as I turn around and you see it says the 4647 and the delivery address is 4651. So I knew that I had parked in the right spot, just grab the groceries and head straight across. Well, wouldn't you know it, you know, I don't appreciate being scammed at all. I take it very seriously. And that's why I document all my deliveries. Wouldn't you know it on the timestamp camera app, as you can see here. And I just thought, oh, it's a glitch because, you know, it's picking up the house next door. Shame on me. I delivered to the wrong address. I was so wrong. I parked in the right spot. All I had to do was take those groceries and walk diagonally right to the house. What did I do? Ha! <laughs> I walked behind my car and I went to the wrong address at 4649. Shame on me. I felt very humbled and foolish because you know what? I should have opened my eyes and looked where I was going. I always try to verify the street address 
it was at night, it was hard to see, shame on me. So I went back and I contacted customer support and I let them know that I was wrong after reviewing all the footage. And they thanked me and they said they would let the customer know and give them a refund. And I reminded them in the chat that I've contacted them twice before and that the customer had already reported it. And so I think it's taken care of. I need to be careful. You know, I'm so indignant about getting scammed by customers and offended. Yeah, I'm going to go back and do my due diligence and look at all the footage I have, and that way I can see what happened. And <laughs> wouldn't you know, when you go back and you look at that video, I was clearly in the wrong. You know what? I'm not getting any younger. Maybe I shouldn't be doing nighttime deliveries. That's probably something I should really consider in the future. <laughs> It's not a laughing matter. You know, it's far and few between that customers try to scam us. And when they do, it's very infuriating. So please share in the comments below, is this kind of stuff happened to you? And if the customer scammed you, what did you do about it? Did you have an easy time contacting customer support? I personally found it very frustrating that I could not talk to a human being. It was only through chat. And the email was a waste of time because I couldn't reply to them and it was very frustrating. In this case, I was wrong, and I admit that, and I'm very sorry. I apologize to Instacart, and I apologize to the customer as well. My name is Russ, and I really hope you enjoyed the video, so don't forget to like it and like the channel. And up next, I have a video for you dealing with Instacart that I made quite a while ago, and it's still relevant today, so I hope you enjoy that.